Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is kind of the Kineski PP1 chest protector arm movement and kind of how it fits with gloves. Um, so I, I realized when I did the Warrior video for the Warrior G5 uh, chest, I did this view and I didn't do it for this one in the Optic 2 chest. So I'm going back and doing those um, or doing this, this view. I'll have a video up coming soon comparing all the four chests I currently have in my house. So the Brown, Optic, and g5 um to how big it like the coverage it takes up in the net i'll have it with the without the chest protector on and the jersey so i'll be coming in the future um but as of right now so this is the kineski chest um arm movement is not great and i'll be totally honest with it um so as you can see not a ton of movement there it's harder for me to touch like the back of my head and stuff like that than it is on the brown and the warrior um the reason being, one of the big reasons being is this chest is made for pro shots. And people always ask, why do you need a pro chest? Maybe I don't, I don't want to feel shots ever. Um, I never want to have to wear a shirt underneath this that's padded. That's why I wear brown now. And that's why I went with this because I saw the NHL ones that they had and I was pretty impressed with them. Um, so I went with this. So I'm willing to sacrifice that a bit of mobility. I also think these arms will break in. Um, so right now, they aren't broken in, they're brand new. I've never worn them for a game. Obviously I can't right now. Um, so yeah, these will, I'm hoping break in a bit and they probably will. Normal movement seem fine though and is okay. It's just like the above the head stuff that doesn't work as well as obviously the Warrior with their Axiflex, which Warrior does a huge credit for that because they do have huge plastic arms and they bend really well. And uh, not quite as good as the Brian's either. Um, but I mean, that is what it is. I knew that going into it, that this wouldn't be as flexible and I was okay with it. That was my decision. So onto the gloves. Normally I would wear the same gloves when I do these comparisons, but I feel it's kind of it's like, I can't not wear the matching gloves for this chest. Um, so movement is pretty good. You do, it does go down deep. As you can see, it's right like, deep in there in the blocker. I'm okay with that. And I kind of like it. It does kind of taper down a bit, as you can see. Um, because I, I did get a couple shots on the glove like this. Um, I would miss it or something, or I, it would tip and it just got there because this cuff isn't very long um, on the JRZ, so, or JRZ. So I'm okay with that, and I think it will do a decent job. Same with the blocker. Movement is pretty good, not really restricted. A little bit up there, but you don't really use that shape anyways when you're actually playing. Everything's pretty good. These are pretty open cuffs, though. Um, but yeah, everything's pretty good there. Turning it over. It's a bit of, like a bit, it gets in the way a bit, but if it's out and over, it's pretty good. It's, it's in, it's a little bit, gets in the way. Uh, but everything seems okay. Normal movements I'm pretty happy with. Um, it might take a bit to get broken into, but I mean, that's it. And just because they're here and for consistency's sake, I'll put the Optic 2 gloves on. Um, so yeah, these ones are definitely tighter cuffs and they do interfere a little bit more. So as you can see, it's kind of pushing down a bit more. I don't know if I would have to really put these arms up anymore because I think they're Velcro kind of on the tightest setting. Um, I can definitely feel it pushing down on the Optic 2. So you can kind of see that one piece gets in the way right there. And same with the blocker because that cuff works much better on the JRZ ones. Um, doesn't get in the way that sense, but playing, it's kind of okay. It's still pushing down. So your hand would definitely get like, my hand's kind of getting tired on that. Um, so I'll probably just have to adjust that a little bit. It's not bad, but it is a different design compared to like the, the Bryant, I think is pretty good fitting and everything. Uh, but normal movements seem okay. Doesn't really interfere with the upper cuff that much. I should do that, which we won't really be doing. So it's pretty good. Um, definitely the most interference of all the ones so far. Also the least broken in by far. So kind of give or take. Um, yeah, so I can't say how I like this chest yet because I haven't worn it in a game. Um, so people keep asking, I can't answer that question, sorry. Hopefully soon, but probably not that soon. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it, hopefully it was helpful. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified of when I make new videos. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links are in the description. And if you do, buy a piece of gear because one of my videos please have to manufacture let them know helps me get on their radar also if you want to see me review a piece of gear that i don't have reach out to the manufacturer and let them know um and that will get me hopefully on their radar and because i can't
buy this stuff all the time. Uh, this is probably the last chest I'll buy for a long time. Um, the Brines and the Warrior aren't mine. I'm just borrowing them from a store. So I can't use them and actually review them in a game. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching. The other videos for all this gear will be eventually on the channel. So check those out. And I'll have the comparisons of them all on my website. And I'll link those in the description when they're done. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.